Salutations and good morrow, everyone, and welcome back to another Grounded Update video where today we're going to be going over all of the new mutations that have come out in point two. So the 2.0 version of the game that came out on August 26th, they have given us the ability to mutate. They've given us a tech tree that's going to give us some new skills. Now, the one I wanted to go over here, now I'm in creative for this one because this one I had to start a new game in order to get because if you already have had a game and you found all the juice boxes, you will not be able to get this one. So I'm going to go over to statuses now and this one is called Juicy. Uh, like a true bookworm, you, can, you can't resist a wall of text and encyclopedia of knowledge um, of beverage ingredients in enriches you aka it makes it so you can drink more and your water will last longer okay that's what this one's for so if you guys want to get this one just make sure what you guys do is you go out and you guys explore and find all the juice boxes in a new world or um, don't look for all the juice boxes in your current world if you guys want to get this mutation It's the only way to get it because I have tried I spent a half an hour running around in between each one of the juice boxes Jumping on them building around them trying to get to the point where I would have all five of them discovered Even though I already had done it and it never gave me the perk So the only way to get this mutation is if you didn't already explore all five juice boxes Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna move on to is we're gonna go to my other save and we're gonna check out all of the mutations that are over there because I have the rest of them and we're gonna go over not only all of them, but also how to get them and what they give you. Okay guys, here we are back in my wonderful home abode that I have built and spent at least 30 hours making this base. So here's my beautiful base that's gonna have all the upgraded stuff in it very soon, but we're not over here for that. We're here to look at stats. So here we are, you guys can see I have all of them except for Juicy that goes right here because like I said, I tried and tried and tried and could not get it. So let's talk about this first one. This one is called Buff Lungs. You get this from Burgle, okay? Buff Lungs, you can inhale and your cells burn bright with enhanced energy capacity, AKA you'll be able to swim for longer. In enhances your stamina and allows you to swim for longer hold your breath longer this one is 7,000 science points from burgle okay so i would suggest going and getting that one especially with the water update that's coming very soon where you're gonna need to be able to hold your breath longer or swim underwater longer in order to fight all your things or get eelgrass everything else that's coming there let's move on to this next one which is called grass master okay uh like an insectable lumberjack uh you're becoming a living lawnmower your intimate knowledge of chopping grass allows you to topple them with e increasing ease and there are three levels to this one now what i will tell you in order to get the first part of this one you need to cut down 50 grass planks okay so you need to cut down 50 pieces of grass and it will allow you to get grass master and every 50 you go on after that is going to increase the level that you guys can see right here so i have star one then you have star two and star three which each one will make it even easier for you to cut down grass so this skill is going to become super helpful if you're building okay so if you're going to be building and you want to cut down a lot of grass i bet you it's going to work for weed stems as well um you just go ahead and get that one you get it all the way up while you're building and then and it's going to make it even faster for you to build okay moving on now guys we have what's called rock cracker okay this is another one where it has three tiers to it you have to break 30 rocks for this one you have to break 30 rocks and then you will get rock cracker a path of destruction is left in your wake and it's clear that busting um or yeah burst busting uh makes you feel good your little arms bring hammers down with an ever-growing efficiency aka not only is this going to help you when swinging and breaking down rocks but this is also going to help you when you're holding your mint mallet and it's going to lower the stamina use of every swing that you have so if you are a mint mallet lover like me this is going to be a fantastic perk for you to put on okay so i'd suggest getting this one as soon as you can it's actually super easy because you can break any rock as long as you have a tier 2 hammer so you just go get your insect mallet or using your mint mallet as well will also be very very helpful okay moving on we're going to go on to ant annihilator okay the ant has become a familiar threat and you begin to know your enemy inside and out death and devastation greets all ants that face you so what this tells me is this mutation you are going to be able to hit ants harder you're going to do more damage to ants if especially when you hit them in certain places like their head becomes a critical point for you okay so using this perk leveling it up it's uh third 50 ants you have to kill 50 ants 
in order to get this perk. And every 50 ants after that will allow you to upgrade this perk and you will do more and more and more damage to ants. So if you were planning on going and let's say trying to get more ant eggs and need to kill a bunch of ants, you put on this perk and then all of a sudden ants become not a problem at all. You can kill all of them super, super easy and um, you'll get your ant eggs just like you want. Moving on, we have Lil Fist. Lil Fist, this one was kind of a pain in the butt to get and I don't know if it's really worth it. Um, your tiny limbs flail and crash upon foe after foe with every swing these bitty bones of yours harden and muscles tighten. So in other words, I had to go around and punch 50 things to death and it was a pain in the butt because you guys know from my video where I tested how many times you have to punch things in order to kill it you know that this is a pain in the neck and I am not in creative mode you guys can see down there I am not in creative mode I have food I have water I have health I have stamina use if I run so I am not in creative so running around finding 50 things to punch to death was kind of a pain in the neck um, and do I think it's worth it not really because it only gives you one um, one star in it unless you're a completionist like i am and you're trying to get everything that's how you're gonna do it okay but moving on to this next perk which i keep on myself it's coop de grass discovering a beacon of hope in the darkness lifts uh, your will to survive bursts of inspiration flash before your eyes in the heat of battle as your blows you land only describe as lucky aka it's going to increase criticals guys so if you're going to go out and you're going to be doing any sort of fighting this is a perk for you now where you find this guys is in the new place where the four leaf clover is and i will show you guys that on my map if you come down here and you look right here on this edge right here if you enter in right here you'll be able to go underwater and there will be your four leaf clover it's right in there guys so go check that out it's an easy one to get it's an easy perk to get so i would suggest you guys go over there give that a try get your perk and start with all those criticals because those are super super handy all right moving on like i said this is where juicy goes but i can't get that one right now um just because like i said i tried and tried and tried and i can't get it okay guys moving on to the next perk is natural explorer now this is one of the easiest perks to get just like juicy okay because all you have to do is run around and explore and find things now what i've noticed with this one is even though i've already found everything in the game as i'm running past landmarks i'm actually um unlocking it more and more and more even though i've already discovered it it says natural explorer with each landmark found you gain a better understanding of the lay of the land your tiny feet traverse the yard like it's the back of your hand so in other words it allows you to move a little bit quicker it allows you to you know know where things are you can see things further on your map when you're looking around all of your landmarks and everything like that and it gives you a better feel of what all you're doing and how you're going to move around okay so that one's pretty helpful i do like the natural explorer perk it does go all the way to three i have it at level two right now because i didn't finish going around getting everything because I didn't run to the hedge base and all of that but I'm assuming as if you find every single landmark in the game you will get this one all the way to three okay moving on now we're gonna go to cardio fan now cardio fan is kind of a pain as well to get but it's totally totally worth it okay i love this perk i have it on and i will never take it off again exhausting your tiny body over and over your cells adopt a more efficient respiratory process so in other words it's gonna allow you to sprint for a long time okay and the more you use it the more you get back from it so um in order to get this you have to exhaust yourself like 30 times okay and it's a pain in the butt to do that but as long as you're running around and exploring you're gonna keep exhausting yourself just hold down that shift button hold down that sprint button and never stop running because if you guys do that you'll never run out of stamina anymore because you guys are gonna get this perk and you guys are gonna keep it used all the time this next perk here guys reliable friend this one is a lot harder to get especially if you only play in solo okay if you only play in solo you're never gonna get this perk you have to revive your friends five times and it does have three levels to it but what this perk does is it allows you to heal your friends or revive them more efficiently it's going to be even faster with every single perk so it's going to get to the point where if you're fighting something with a team of people and you're like wow this is a really hard enemy one of your friends goes down if one of you guys has reliable friend all the way upgraded you can just turn over revive them like that and bada bing bada boom they're back out fighting with you again okay and it may even increase the amount of health that they re they get back when you're there revived but it says right here life in the lawn is filled with narrow escapes and you you've been right there for it all of it your 
muscle memory fixed with the hope and determination makes a harrowing rescue all the more probable. So in other words, it makes you revive faster, guys. It's super helpful. And if you guys want to get this one up, a really quick tip for you guys, bring in a friend, grab your mint mallet, turn around and hit your friend in the face with the mint mallet five times and heal them. You'll be surprised on how fast this one's going to upgrade and you guys will be able to get this and be able to revive your friends super, super, super fast. Okay, let's move on to the next one, which is sharpshooter. Now, this one was kind of a pain in the neck to get as well, and it does have three tiers, but coupled with one of the new armor items in the game, this can become one of the most deadly perks in the game. Sharpshooter, a film crawls across the surface of your eye, allowing you to focus with deadly clarity, deal increased damage with all bow type weapons, which does include the bow gun, right? The actual harpoon gun. So in other words, guys, this is going to be super helpful, but you have to kill 40 things with the bow. Now you may think, well, you know, that's not too bad, but go ahead and try to kill 40 wolf spiders with a bow once without dying. Tell me how hard that is. <laughs> Unless you cheese them, which if you do that, good job. You're awesome. But with everything being harder now, with the update coming out and all the uh, health and everything of everything increasing, it's going to make using this perk even more deadly. But like I said, with Sharpshooter, if you can get this all the way upgraded and on top of that, you could come over here and you could craft inside of your workbench gear... Um, Oh, look at that. I don't have it in here. That's that's just wonderful. But the crow helmet, okay? If you can craft yourself your crow hat and go ahead and use that guy, you will be able to um, yeah. do even more damage. Let's see what happens when I go ahead and research the crow feather. Now, I guarantee this is probably going to give me that crow hat that I wanted. Science. Raw science. Ooh, it also gives you feather arrows. Okay, I didn't even know about feather arrows until right now. That's pretty, that just goes to show how many times I've played this game and how much time I've put into it just to be able to come in here and go, well, how do we make crow arrows, I guess? And it's probably right here, right underneath here, feather arrows. Yep. Uh, crow feather piece and spider web, a fancy arrow crafted from sleek crow feathers and strands of spider bit web. I bet you that they do even more damage. So if you crop, uh, if you combine this and also your wonderful hat that you get, which is right here, the marksman cap, the only tier three armor in the game, plus this final status of the sharpshooter, you could be killing wolf spiders in two or three arrows at that point if you shoot them in the face. So I would suggest taking your time going out and getting sharpshooter. Guys, this next one is called meat shield. Okay, we're moving on to the next one. It is meat shield. Uh, your size to meat ratio is off the charts. You take hits like a champ. This gives you 10% more health. Okay, it's nice, but it only gives you 10% more health. Um, it's 7,000 raw science to burgle, which is a lot, especially in the beginning of the game, and only for 10% more health. I would suggest just getting yourself ladybug armor instead of focusing on this perk, because um, right now it doesn't seem like it's doing a lot unless we give other mutations that give you even more health, or you could start getting health boosts. Okay, so good perk, not really worth it at the moment. And guys, we move on to our final perk that we have of today that is inside of this update and that is fresh defense. A plume of mint dust envelops you and sends you into a cool wave rippling through your skin. Cells activate a freshness layer that, to combat the sting of all the stings and burns. So guys, what that tells me is it's not only increasing your defense, but this one is also going to make it so you can get, you can take less damage from like poison and stuff like that. Now going into OS, if you come over here and you start looking through some of these, it's not really going to tell you what all of these are. Okay, so you know, it gives you some hints, but it's not going to actually tell you. These are just speculations. This is off of testing that I have done. This is not 100% fact like I would like to say in all my videos. Everything is all of a speculation out of testing that I have done through the over 200 hours I've put into this game and just coming up with the most reliable and accurate information for you guys. So I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys like all the perks that were added. I know that it's not the water update like we promised, but that is coming very soon. You guys, I would appreciate if every single one of you could hit the like button on this video because it really does help me out you guys can leave me a comment down below with other questions or if you guys want to know how to do anything else in the game i'm always willing to answer those questions make sure you guys subscribe today turn that bell notification all so you guys never miss my ants and q and a streams for you guys and when i'm in the dev world and as always i will see all of you guys in the next one